Hey everybody, Sponge with Sponge's Tech Tips coming to you again on a bright sunny Washington day, warm. Uh, still working on the 2020 Nissan Armada and let's, uh, I did this on the last video but let's just verify again for anybody watching. Uh, production date is March of 20 right there and um, what we're going to do in this tech tip is to show you how to replace the B pillar interior panel. This is the panel in between the front door and the back door. Uh, ours is broken and you know as, as I've been looking at this particular car I came to the realization that this car in the past did have the side airbag deploy. Uh, probably went to a body shop and got fixed and they actually left some of these pieces damaged just this they're not really bad but a little bit of damage on them and and that's what we're fixing for the customer here so uh, the tools you're going to need on this are a 14 millimeter open end or box in wrench i recommend ratcheting um, you, you'll see why here in a second but uh, you're not going to want to use a socket and a ratchet on this one uh, you're going to need a panel popper of your choice, something clean. Uh, you don't need to have a lot of power. It's the, the hand one's fine, but just something clean. So, uh, First and foremost, what I recommend you do, move the front seat all the way forward, which I have done here. Um, just move that as far forward as you possibly can until it stops. You can put the back up all the way. That helps get it out of your way. Then you're going to take your panel poppers. You're going to get in between the sill plate on the front, just right there. Let's see if I can pop that free. It doesn't take a lot of force to get in there. Now you could opt to remove this entire piece. See, it's loose now. But honestly, just getting it to this point right here is enough to get it out of your way to do what we need to do. We do need to do the back door. Sill plate also, same thing. Get your panel popper underneath. Again, not a lot of force, just clips in. Uh, you could also take this one off to get it out of your way, but again, it's not truly necessary. Just having it uh, out of the way a little bit is okay. So. Okay, next thing, panel popper again. Oh, no, I'm sorry, let me back up. Seat belt, this is what you need your 14 mil for. So I've already backed this out, but you'll notice to get at this bolt, you're hitting the seat. If you want to use a ratchet and a socket, you have to disassemble uh, your covers, possibly take the seat out. So there's no point going to that much work when you can just put your ratcheting box in and then back that out to get your seat removed so again I did the work ahead of time just to speed up the process so all right back to the panel popper we're gonna go up here to the top you're going to get underneath the plastic pop it over This one, so this one here sits on top of your weather stripping. So you gotta get this off first, both front and back. Around the door we go. Uh, it's free enough so we can grab it with our hands now, so. Okay, so we've popped that free. You can see the plastic clips that hold it. Looks like we lost one down here. We'll fix that here before we put it back on. Once you get that unclipped, you just lift it up and out of your way like so. Okay, next thing. Now, now this time, you're gonna want to remove the weather stripping. So, you don't have to take the weather stripping completely off. Just need to remove it enough to get up here to the top and get it out of your way. Do that on both the front door and the back door. Because, like I had mentioned when I was doing the front one, you'll notice that the weather stripping hangs over these little tabs. And that's going to, not that it matters on this because we're, we're these are going to the garbage anyway. So it wouldn't have mattered if we broke them. But 
you might be taking this off to replace your handle. You might be taking this off to replace your seatbelt. You may be going all the way up into the headliner for some reason. So I'm trying to keep you from breaking it as much as possible. So, okay, once you get the weather stripping off, back to your panel poppers. You're going to slide your panel popper up underneath and it pops off. Now the top is where the clip is the strongest. There's actually, uh, it's, it's just a little more heavier duty to prevent from uh, coming off if the airbag. And let's, I'm gonna kind of squeeze in here. You see this white clip here. You're gonna wanna get in between, press in. <sighs> Come on, told you it's got, it takes a little bit of force to get in there. Huh, the other one came off a little easier. There we go. Oh, 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 fell off again. Why is this not coming off? Oh, there we go. It was just hung up. I'll show you the clip you're dealing with on this. It's right there. So you see it's got two kind of push connects, but there's no way to push them both at the same time. All right, once you get that off, you're gonna bring the seat belt out and through, and now you have the panel completely removed uh, and set it aside, try to keep it clean if you're gonna reuse it or get it out of the way if you're gonna put the new one on. So. All right, putting it back together is as simple as reversing the process of taking it off. It's actually a little easier because you don't need to use your panel poppers. Uh, make sure when you put it on that your panel sits on the top of the rubber handle. You'll see these little, it's like a flashing. Make sure that that's under it. Um, I'll show you the other side. That way you get a nice clean fit just like that. So. All right guys, that is it for this one. Uh, I'm not going to be doing anything else on this particular vehicle, but we may touch base on this in the future. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button on the video. Feel free to leave comments. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.